By the end of this video, you're going to discover who is Vitalik Buterin. Why was he? Uh, why is he important? What did he do to, for Ethereum, uh, blockchain, uh, cryptocurrency? Again, if you're into VV or anything related to metaverse or cryptocurrency, this is uh, something you probably should know. And I also, I'm, uh, this is a setup for another video because I wanted to uh, make another video, but I figured I should make this one first. Uh, who is, is he? And then uh, the next video is going to be what is he doing as far as his next innovation, his next uh, in invention, for lack of a better term, uh, that will uh, con co contribution uh, for metaverse blockchain technology. So uh, by the end of the video, you're going to discover all that. And don't forget to join the Discord for the giveaway information, little secret hints. Uh, I'll be get ahead. If you're in the Discord, I will mention in the Discord when I'm going live and also a hint to the question where I'll be mentioning the subject of the question in the Discord. And again, we're building a community where we all can learn from each other and build. And this video is being promoted by Dr. Strange Hip Hop Artist. Link in the description for his Spotify, YouTube. Drop him, follow, throw him into the rotation. And also, he has created an NFT with his music. Artist, uh, look, lyricist, give it a, a shout. Give it a try. Listen, I mean, it is good. It is good. And again, we're at the beginning of this NFT technology. More and more artists are going to be coming here. And we know that the very first... NFTs that, that are going to be created are going to be, no matter what, going to be valuable because they are going to be considered Generation 1. And this is the first real hip-hop uh, song, NFT, that I saw on Mark Cuban's OpenSea's uh, plat marketplace. So, alright, so let's go ahead and see. A place where you can learn everything about who the disruptive sector of cryptocurrencies and finally start building who your blockchain Let's education. See. Let's see. In today's video, I will talk about the mastermind behind Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin. There are many geniuses in the blockchain industry who are idolized by the community. Next to Satoshi Nakamoto, Vitalik Buterin is one of the most influential blockchain creators who succeeded in designing another layer of blockchain technology through the help of smart contracts. But who is he? And how did he come up with the idea of Ethereum? Vitalik was born in Russia in 1994, where he spent the first six years of his life. He eventually moved to Canada after his parents decided to emigrate in search of better working conditions. From a young age, Vitarin's intelligence... So pretty much he built Ethereum, all right? So just, just wanted to put out there if you missed it. ...and academic performance were recognized by everyone. He, he looks like a genius. Look at him, man. ...programming and even economics, which helped him move to a program for gifted children. As a consequence of his high intelligence, Buterin found it hard to talk with his peers, which forced him to become introverted and spend his time playing video games. In fact, games were a turning point for his beliefs regarding authority and centralization because they made him realize how centralized systems can affect his life. Buterin's autobiography revealed that he was devastated when Blizzard decided to change a spell in his favorite video game, World of Warcraft. Look, I've mentioned World of Warcraft before on this channel. This game is addicting like crazy, but it's an MMORPG, and I have made a video how, what I think uh, the metaverse, how it's related to MMORPG, how it's, going, in my opinion, going to be an MMORPG, but just on, how, on a whole nother level. So... This uh, World of Warcraft game has a lot of elements as uh, uh, metaverse related. I mean, the, the there's a, a whole ecosystem. You have economy. You have uh, your own personal area. You have uh, uh, you interact with people. You team up with people. You have guilds. You have uh, uh, you do PvP stuff. There's mini games. There's this. There's that. I mean, this is metaverse except not on the blockchain very centralized obviously controlled by blizzard but what i think and highly successful the height was 15 million users uh, uh if i remember correctly but if you've played world of warcraft you are going to love metaverse because of the the it's just the same except way better it's not it's decentralized and it's just on a whole nother level so that's why i can relate to this cat because we both played this game at high levels and it's just it's like a starting point 
when you've played World of Warcraft and you you look at this, this is a starting point to where Metaverse is going to go. An excerpt reads. So pretty much right here, he talks about how Blizzard changed and they, they nerfed things all the time in the game. And it's very upsetting. And so he was like, bump this. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make something of our crypto community. After meeting with two teams who worked on covert coins and master coin projects that issued tokens and contracts, so he pretty much is like, I'm going to create my, a technology where we can have video games. I'm sorry for talking over her, but video games or whatever we want, that's going to be decentralized. So he goes out and he, he's forming a team. In order to complete a Turing complete programming language. At the end of 2013, Buterin sent out a copy of the first Ethereum white paper to a number of friends. He was initially criticized for being too ambitious, but that did not prevent him from passionately working on Ethereum and building a team. You know what? I like that. You know what? There's nothing wrong with ambition. There's nothing wrong with ambition. Sometimes I'm accused of, of the same thing. You know, uh, I'm stretching, I'm overreaching. But you know what? You don't get anything done unless you, you overreach, unless you're ambitious. History. Just make Ethereum it happen. On to Just make it happen. Figure it out on the way. Cryptocurrency in the entire blockchain industry. And it hosted nearly all of the sector's decentralized applications. Even today, Ethereum holds strongly onto its position. And many believe that it is impossible for any other smart contract ecosystem to replace Buterin's creation. But as with any other project, Ethereum also had its bad moments during the last bull run. And some were dangerous enough to shake the project's foundations. The first so pretty much right here, she's going to go into uh, how there was some fake news uh, leaked ab ab about Buterin, uh, Vitalik, and um, uh, it dropped, Ethereum dropped by uh, something like $4 billion. Uh, it was, you know, people just, and then he had to go, and that's why that picture, he, he had to post that. And, you know, with the, uh, cur the current price of uh, Ethereum or, or whatever and his wallet address and all that because uh, it was it was dropping. So this is dangerous because there's if something was to happen to him, Ethereum may get hit hard because it did. Fake news came out that he, he died in a car accident and it dropped like a rock, you know? And so we got to keep that in the back of our, our minds too, you know? Anything can happen. What happens if, you know, uh, you know, whoever's running whatever project that you're you're highly invested in. What happens if something happens there? If they're bought out, or if they get if they pass away unexpectedly, you know. Look, that's how life is. So we gotta just w watch out for for stuff like that. You know, uh, that's why you know um, we just have to be smart with our investments. You know, if you want to put all your eggs in one basket and roll the dice, by all means, man. You know, if, if you got it like that and you want to, you know be risky for sure but you know i i wouldn't recommend throwing everything into ethereum you know because look what happened in the past you know the fake news said oh he passed away and then look it dropped by four billion dollars uh so i just wanted to go ahead and, and share who this is what he did again there's issues with ethereum uh gas fees and whatnot you've got a solution uh layer two polygon matic is uh where what these nfts that we've been giving away. That's why there's no gas associated to these NFTs that we've been giving away on the channel. Uh, it's because they're on layer two Polygonmatic. You know, they're Ethereum, but layer two. So just want to go ahead and make a video about this, set this up for another video of what he's got planned or what he's already kind of doing. And so that way, you know, man, this guy's big time. This guy's big time. But what what's he doing for the metaverse, specifically VVverse, all of this, uh blockchain technology all right so you already know the deal good luck in all your collectible investments let them all be profitable